Have you ever wondered how fast the universe is expanding? Scientists have been puzzled for years by the differing rates of expansion. These discrepancies arise when comparing early universe data to present observations. This inconsistency posed a challenge to our best model of the universe. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists are making strides in solving this mystery. A new study from the University of Chicago suggests that the Hubble constant remains valid. Professor Wendy Friedman states, this evidence suggests our standard model is holding up. While future discoveries may challenge our understanding, the Hubble constant appears stable for now. To measure the universe's expansion, there are two main approaches. The first involves the cosmic microwave background, the remnant light from the Big Bang. This radiation helps us understand conditions in the universe's infancy. The second approach, led by Friedman, focuses on measuring today's local universe expansion. This method is more complex as accurately determining distances is challenging. Over the past decades, scientists have developed various techniques for measuring nearby distances. One method involves observing supernovae at peak brightness, providing distance estimates based on their luminosity. Additionally, Friedman's work with red giant stars and carbon stars has enhanced measurement accuracy. However, corrections for cosmic dust, luminosity differences, and instrumentation uncertainties are necessary for precise results. The powerful James Webb Space Telescope, launched in 2021, has significantly improved these measurements. Friedman notes, we've more than doubled our galaxy sample for supernova calibration. Her latest calculation estimates the expansion rate at 70.4 km per second per megaparsec, aligning closely with cosmic microwave background measurements of 67.4. Webb's enhanced resolution and sensitivity allow it to identify individual stars and measure brightness more accurately. Co-author Taylor Hoyt says, Webb is fantastic for measuring distances to galaxies. Friedman explains the challenge of finding a theory to explain varying expansion rates. Over 1,000 papers have tackled this issue, proving extraordinarily difficult. While researchers continue investigating the standard model, it doesn't appear to hold answers for dark matter and dark energy mysteries. Next year, Friedman's team will use Webb to study the coma cluster, allowing for direct Hubble constant measurements. Friedman expresses optimism for the future, stating, we'll boost accuracy and resolve this in the coming years. Ready to explore the universe's expansion? Stay tuned for updates on groundbreaking discoveries.